Hello there. Uh, my name is Harry and I work for Bright Local in the customer support department. But today I'm actually here to show you just a few gems to really help you get the most out of your subscription. Today we'll be covering the three main challenges that Bright Local solves for the agencies that we partner with. The first one being how to win new clients and drive better local lead conversion. Secondly, how to create a solid local search strategy and get results. And third, we'll demonstrate how to show the value and retain your clients. But first, we're just gonna spend a couple of minutes looking at how we find our way around the different areas of Bright Local. So the first page that we land on is the locations overview. We can customize the metrics that are here so you can focus on what is most important to you. So for example, if you're not interested in your, your average star rating at the moment or your reviews, slide this little toggle here and it'll take you through to the settings. Down here, I'll take out the total reviews, my average rating, not too interested in that right now, but actually we're really keen to know how we're doing on our citations. So I'm gonna put in my live citations and my key citation score within this overview. Slide in the toggle back, we'll save those settings and there we have it, all of the new settings here. And it will show the changes over time and really help you to prioritize your next steps that you're taking. If we want, we can also organize locations under clients. It helps to think of locations and clients as files and folders. The clients are like the folders that help to keep locations organized. It's helpful if any of your clients are brands or franchises. You can see in my test account here, we've added lots of Walmarts and can find them easily in this folder here. Now each of Bright Local's tools has an overview page, which is accessed from this top menu here. If I select into the local rank tracker, for example, in here, it will show you the key information about the report scheduling, your available allowances and credits that are remaining. It'll also show some key metrics about your location's performance. Up here at the top right, you will always find a link out to the Help Center. There'll be some quick tour videos there as well, should you need them. Within your subscription, you get a set amount of active locations. All of our subscription plans come with these ranking tools here. You can essentially have as many locations added to your account as you like, then choose which ones you would like to have set to a schedule, which is what's included in your plan. And you can leave the others as ad hoc. So you might have a, a plan for six to 10 locations, but have 20 locations added on here. You can select and change these locations between ad hoc and active. Now being active, will use the subscription allowances within your plan. So all these, if you've got six to 10 locations, you get 10 locations which can have these reports running regularly. The others, for example, this one here that's showing as ad hoc, you can just run occasional reports. We've done this. So you can have your main clients having these regular report updates as part of your plan, but you can still use the platform to run occasional reports potentially for prospecting to potential clients. And then you wouldn't have to increase your subscription plan at the same time just to run the run report. I'll also just quickly show you how to add a location to your account. So from within the locations overview page, top right here, you've got add a location. Now on the left here, this is great if you have the connection to the GBP profile already. So your client's giving you access you can click on this and it will show you all the GPPs that you have access to within your personal Google account. If you don't have access to the GBP, it's not a problem. You can add a single location here in a manual process. It's also important for me to highlight, actually, you can't use this GBP profile connection here if the account that you have is a service area business. So if they don't have a visible address, we can't import the data that we need. So you would have to use the add a single location here to add this service area business. Now, I'm just gonna quickly add one in. So I'm looking for, I'm actually using Starbucks as one of my clients. I don't have access to the GPP just yet. They haven't given me it, but I'm just gonna to prospect to them. I can still connect and find their location, use this location here, and it's gonna put in all the information that's available within the GPP. So here we have 
the Starbucks, business category, the address, the website URL. I can also assign it to the client here at this stage, should I wish. Going through the connections, I can get the GPP if I have the access to it. So if it's a service area business, you can connect it at this stage. You can connect the Facebook account and Google Analytics. Again, you don't have to do any of these if you don't want to. There's some more information here, like the client contact details, the company details, descriptions and services, and photos. All of this here is great for if you're going to be creating citation builder campaigns. You don't have to do this right away at the beginning. You can do this later on. So you can skip this stage if you want just by clicking next. So here we have, this is where we can choose whether we want to use one of our, our um, locations as part of our plan. So if it's an active location, it's going to use one of our locations, including the plan. So if I've got a six to 10 location package, it would use one of those. I've got one spare, but actually I just want one run ad hoc report. And I click this here, I'd add the location. This stage here, we can choose to monitor all the data. So this is actually creating the physical reports in our platform. If you don't want to create all the reports, you don't have to. If you want to come back to it later, just hit the cross and it will take you back to the locations overview. I will just quickly go through this though when I monitor the reports. So this will show you all the reports and you can do them all at once. If I decide actually I'm not interested in doing reputation manager at the moment or the GPP audit, I just unslide them here. Not a problem at all. I'm not going to do a, a citation builder campaign just yet. And then I'm going to pop in the details that are required for the reports. Go through all these stages, add your keyword settings, and that is how you add a location. And it will all show within your location overview.